Berat. I am in Berat, and I must say, <clears throat> this place has blown me away already. I've only literally just arrived. Um, it's a town from the Ottoman period, as you can see. You've got this uh, quite unique style of housing. It's like quite an interesting city to explore. I've got a week here, some hiking opportunities, and yeah, what a place. You've got a castle up there. Um, and as you can see, there are actually houses within the castle walls, so people actually still live up there. That's like a, an entire quarter to itself. Um, so yeah, boom, they're at. The digs, I've got my own uh, balcony up here. Just checked in now. It's the Bella Vista guest house. Um, nice big double bed. Huge big screen TV. Not that I'll be watching much of that. And uh, private bathroom as well. This comes to about £12 a night. So uh, you definitely get good bang for your buck in Albania when it comes to accommodation and food and drinking and stuff like that. Yeah, what a place. Um, it's good to get out of Tirana, out of the capital, and come and see. This is one of only two UNESCO sites in the whole of Albania. Um, so yeah, being a bit of a history buff, it was a no-brainer. So you've got that gorgeous river running through the city. You've got mosques. I've seen a couple of uh, Orthodox-style churches as well. So you get a real mix in Albania. Um, before I was not apprehensive, but I thought it would be quite quite strict. But um, here it's super chill. You see Albanians drinking raki first thing in the morning with their coffee. Um, you know, no one's like proper religious like hardcore strict religious here at all from any, from any uh denomination looks like i'm staying quite far up the hill as you can see it's a little bit of a walk to get back up so it's going to give my legs a bit of a stretch but it's got to be done so far locals seem nice and friendly what a place what a place to end up in for a week Alright, just thought I'd give you a quick look at the scram situation. We've got some uh, peppers with rice, a bit of cheese on the top by the looks of it. Now this on the menu said a Rome steak. I've got no idea what a Rome steak is, so I'm going to have to test that out, see exactly what's going on. And a quarter of beer, which is a local brew. And this came to the grand total of about five pounds with some bread as well. So yeah, it's good for the scram as well, very good. Good rates. Right then, I'm going over there. That's Gorica. So that's the south side of the uh, the town, which was traditionally Christian. This side is traditionally Muslim. Uh, but as you can see, there are mosques built right next to churches. So it's not really a divided place as such, but this was traditionally the Christian side, Gorica. So I'm gonna go and explore that. It looks like there's quite a few abandos, which would be interesting to have a look at. Luckily the sun's shining today, so yeah, let's go and check it out. It's like we're going to be doing a bit of climbing today. So the city has been inhabited since 6th century BC. Two and a half thousand years old. A lot of invaders have come and gone. Apparently the Slavs were here, the Ottomans of course. You can see on that building there, but there's a date, 1856. And these little winding roads, I mean they're actually given street names, but as you can see, you ain't getting a car down here. winding up and there's the view of the castle which I'm gonna go and check out later Berat Castle up there on that hill uh, that is where I am going today it dates back to the 13th century you've got um, Ottoman mosques Ottoman era mosques in there you've got Byzantine era churches 
And as you can see, there is still, there's like a quarter that people still live in today. The wall, it's, uh, it stretches quite far. It's more like a citadel, I guess. But um, basically I've got to wind my way up the streets here. And then uh, apparently there's a, a steepish path that I've got to take to get to the top. So that's the plan for today. Another day in a Berat, Berat city or Berat town. Uh, population's about 30 odd thousand, I think. Let's get it. Check how steep that is. And the Albanians just walk up and down it all day like it's nothing. Whew. Still got quite a bit to go. Ah, that's a real climb. Good time to visit though in uh, in March because the temperatures are not too high. Doing this in June, July, you're just asking for death. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. I will go. I'm going to go have a look around. I, I will come back this way after. Sorry, okay. <laughs> church, one, this is Church of San Maria, this mosaic with this Byzantine. Okay. It's okay, I will find it, okay, no problem. Okay, sorry. Thank you. That's okay, guide, no problem. We guide it, yeah. this is a guide. I just, I just like to look okay, at it slowly. Sorry. That's okay. I understand, I understand. We guide you to this yeah. economy. I just want to uh, have a look around okay, and film. Sorry, okay. okay, thank you, brother. Salam and So, as you can see, you got shops, you got restaurants within the castle. I don't really need a guide, I kind of like having a look around at my own, uh, my own pace. It's nice to get the information and everything, but you know, I can kind of find that online anyway. And uh, not have to pay for it. Mad to think that for seven, eight hundred years, people have been living up here in the castle grounds. Waking up to a view of that every day. What a beautiful place. Look at the views you get. Imagine living up here, renting a flat for six months. Where do you live, mate? Berat Castle. Right, okay. And there you have it. That is the view I was hoping I would get. So you can see Gorica over there. That is the old town that I had a look through yesterday. You can see those streets that I made my way up to the top there and then all around it. But um, yeah, you got the icy blue mountain river I'm guessing that it's uh, coming from Mount Tamor over there and running down here it looks beautiful it's a real beautiful shade of blue very very impressed Albania very impressed some sort of water system Impressive. No way. It's 
full of water. I don't know if you can see in there, but that's just full of water. There's steps going down to it. It's insane. But kind of watch where you're walking. If you walk on top of that, there's a hole that goes straight into that uh, water reserve thing. <laughs> it doesn't look that deep either. So uh, you might be in the spot of bother. What's this? It's a flat tunnel that goes down to nowhere. This is excellent. It's fascinating. Oh, a bit of a Barry station going on over here. Oh, nasty. Nasty. Leave. Scent of human turd ruins the day. <laughs> Why is it everywhere I go turns out to be a Barry station? Got the old boy up in the mountains with his sheep, living life how it's been lived for hundreds of years, keeping it simple. singing someone's like carving wood and just belting out the hips <laughs> stopped off at Temi Albanian food homemade food a little bite to eat and a beer after walking around all day be rude not to so I'm having a beer at Tirana. Uh, ordered the grilled veg and uh, meatballs. I need some, I've only had breakfast, so this will give me enough power to get down there. Down the mountain again, basically, back down there. I'm hoping that it doesn't rain because it's getting quite windy. Fingers crossed. Out. Nice and cold. I love this restaurant. So I've just left the restaurant and uh, gave me a load of figs on the way out. So if you're ever in Berat up there at the castle, you should pay a visit to Temi Homemade Food. Very, very nice people. Good scran as well. I needed that. Right then, I think it's time to make the descent back to the Back to the ground level. I want to get uh, the Raki collection. The Raki collection. <laughs> At La Bella Vista. Ozzy? Yeah. Say hello. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Perfect. Nila? Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I am in a beautiful Berak city and uh, the owner of the guest house, his name is Mozzy, and he lived through the Enver Hosha period and I've been wanting to sit down with somebody who lived through that time and ask them some questions about what life was like under Enver Hosha and the communist regime and some of the responses so far um, from the conversation we've had already uh, have been quite surprising and this is something that has been common whether it's been in Georgia or Armenia but in countries where they've had a communist regime, um, there have been interesting answers. Some people think that life was better underneath those rulers or dictators or whatever you want to call it. So uh, we're going to wait for Mozzie's son, Ray, to come back. <laughs> Where's Ray? Ray! <laughs> Ray! Come here! <laughs> right, guys. I want you to meet uh, Lila and Mozzie's son, Ray. Ray, say hello. Hi. He's a little bit shy, but he's going to be okay. He's going to be doing some translation work yeah. for us. 
he he has excellent excellent english skills um so first off um the first question i want to ask to you muzzy is um when did you first realize that you were living under a totalitarian regime like when was the first time you realized that hosha was like hardline and that you couldn't have any real freedom of speech era paro un un urita un linda de urita în acea regiune so he was born he was like born there in that time it was normal it was he yeah, didn't know anything different no, he didn't know okay different different from the pascolo from this region yeah at reptova cu 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 chemician okay um so he understood when the um, thing went downhill that's when he understood yeah okay uh second question would be um was it when we go to the museums um they try to tell us that like the sigurimi were putting listening devices into tables and stuff like this and um it created a real um paranoia amongst the population the entire population of Albania they were paranoid that they were being listened to maybe family members uh would snitch on them to the sigurimi um did you have any experience of that kind of paranoia yeah, so they were paranoid uh, every time and everywhere, except uh, in, in, even in their houses. So they, they weren't allowed to, you know, have freedom of speech, you know, um, if they weren't allowed to watch um, um, TV shows at all. I heard I heard that the the TV that you could buy in Albania was made in Albania and it only showed um pro like propaganda um TV shows like patriotic um pro Albanian TV shows is that is that correct? Pa ti da se nu kiste kanale de tira, da te ajute diturat și coi. Ne ve Dijoni Pseurazin, Pseuraz cu Dijoni Radio Zarina America se Dijoni Pseura se mas ma Dijoni Spionat, ce tu ai? Dijoni Bude și mai ies domne Dijoni na Zarina America. Okay. Și pe coi. So um, they were only allowed to listen to one of Albanian uh, shows and talks and like that. And sometimes they will hide in their room. Voice of America. Yeah, they will sometimes hide in their room to listen to America what they have to say about it. Yeah. So was that they had to modify the TV or the radio to get the voice of America because that was illegal, right? Yeah, it was illegal. Yeah. And if if they caught you, then you would go to the Borel Borel internment camp or somewhere else. Okay. So if they were to caught you, they you know punish you for what you've done. And the punishment could be uh, death. Yeah, death. Probably, yeah. yeah. Would you say that Albania is a better country today or back during the early eighties, seventies? Okay. Tani, do të dish do të ten të mira të komunizm të kishe të komunizm. Ja vetëm në se ishte më mirë tani ose ishte. Më mirë, dhe akord. Më mirë, tregoj të mira. Ca pas të mira, tani. Tani të mira tani janë që është liria e fjallës, është liria e lëvizjes. Ok. Êshtë të mirat materiale, po jetë është me vështirë. Qa të temë me onë, është e unë po të temë të mirat e fëqiat, këtë dhe në kohën e komunizmit kishte kishte shumë të këqia. Të plasin të mirat e fëqia. He says it's better now because you have freedom of speech, we need democratic freedom of speech, we can go anywhere we like. Yeah. 
I got one final question. Um, where would Mozzie like to see Albania in 10 years time, 10 years in the future? Would Mozzie like to see Albania as part of the EU or um, not part of the EU? Like, w what would he like to see for Albania's future? Inshallah. 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 Hey, it's Ramadan. You are Muslim? Yeah, yeah, you are Muslim? Yeah. Yeah. I only am Muslim, but I'm It's Ramadan. Yeah. Today, yeah. today, right? Yeah. yeah. Today. yeah. Today. Happy Ramadan. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he doesn't believe that much, so... Yeah. Ah. But for the future of Albania, what does what does Mozi want? Uh, does he think it's good to be part of the EU and yeah. European community or just to stay as, as Albania? Like the UK is the first country to leave uh, the, the EU. Um, does Do you guys think, all of you, all three of you, do you think that joining the EU would be a good thing for Albania or a bad yeah. thing? I think it'd be a good thing. Good like thing. Raising, you know, better jobs, better pain, and they're paying more. Okay. That's. <laughs> Lila, what's what's your opinion? Opinion. Me se kute me machine me kam. Lila, you speak English. Why? <laughs> Why you speaking in Albanian? My English is not Okay, Ray, can you translate for your mom? <laughs> she said basically the same thing about job payment and stuff like that. Okay. For Capertician, she may have been for the Fudrum Bashkin Norbert. It's going to be very hard to join you as well. So. From beautiful Schipperi. 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 Say, uh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Can you get get me doing that as well, Mozi? Is that right? Yeah. No, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Uh, big ups to Albania. Yeah. We're gonna have a few more uh, Rakis. few more Rakis now. Which Gezua. <laughs> Gezua. Gezua. Cheers. Gezua. No. Wait, please. This is La Bella Vista guest house and uh, Berat City. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Lila. Cheers, Ray. Cheers, Mozzie. Great people, beautiful people. Cheers.